Welcome back. My name is Joseph Elchakia from Business and 10. Today we'll cover when is the best time to take Canada Pension Plan or Quebec Pension Plan. Many of us make these decisions based on hearsay. I also hear from our clients during our popular pre-retirement planning courses that some financial planners are recommending to them to take CPP or QPP as early as age 60. This decision alone can cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Please hold on that decision until you see this video and the analysis we did for you. Also, please see this video to the end to see our conclusions. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button and share this video. To receive CPP or QPP, you must apply. You can apply for and receive full CPP or QPP benefit at age 65, or you can receive CPP or QPP as early as age 60 with a reduction or as late as a 70 with an increase. If you want to receive CPP or QPP before a 65, this benefit will be reduced by 0.6% every month or 7.2% annually. And if you choose to start taking this benefit as early as a 60, it will be reduced by 36%. On the other hand, if you want to receive CPP or QPP later than A65, this benefit will be increased by 0.7% every month or 8.4% annually. And if you choose to delay it until age 70, the benefit will be increased by 42%. Before you make your decision on whether you should take this benefit earlier or later, you should do the break even calculation. So let me do that for you. So let's consider there are two people. The person that wants to take CPP or QPP at age 60 is represented by the blue line. And the person that wants to take CPP or QPP at age 65 is represented by the red line. Let's assume that CPP or QPP at age 65 is $1,000 per month. And like I said earlier, if you want to take CPP or QPP early, the benefit will be reduced by 7.2% annually. And if you want to take it as early as a 60, the reduction will be 36%. So the $1,000 per month at age 65 becomes $640 per month at age 60. So the person in blue is collecting $640 per month from a 60 and the person in red is collecting $1,000 per month from age 65. Both people will accumulate the same amount of money by the intersection point where the blue line meets the red line and that point is the break even age which is between 73 and 74. According to Statistics Canada, life expectancy is 85 years. This is where the graph stops. If you start collecting CPP or QPP at a 60, you would have five years head start. But if you wait for five years and start collecting CPP or QPP at a 65, you would catch up by a 74 and then you will be ahead for 11 years until age 85. So the question becomes, do you want to have a head start for five years or do you want to be financially ahead for 11 years later on? This is your decision to make. And this decision is a life decision. You can't change your mind once you make it. Please stay tuned to the end of the video to see my conclusions. And we cover all of this information and much more in our pre-retirement planning courses. They are very well received and reviewed by everyone that takes them. I left you the links to these courses in the description section. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Now let's talk about if you choose to take CPP or QPP at age 70 instead of age 65. Again, let's consider there are two people. The person that wants to take CPP or QPP at age 65 
is represented by the blue line. And the person that wants to take CPP or QPP at A70 is represented by the red line. Let's assume that CPP or QPP at A65 is $1,000 per month. And if you want to delay taking CPP or QPP, it will be increased by 8.4% annually. And if you want to take it as late as a 70 the increase will be 42 percent so the person in blue is collecting one thousand dollars per month from a 65 and the person in red is collecting one thousand four hundred twenty dollars per month from age 70. both people will accumulate the same amount of money by the intersection point where the blue line meets the red line and that point is the break even age which is between 81 and 82. Again, according to Statistics Canada, life expectancy is 85 years. This is where the graph stops. So if you start collecting CPP or QPP at age 65, you would have five years head start. And if you take CPP or QPP at age 70, it will take you 12 years to catch up by age 82, and you have three years advantage at the end 82 to 85 and for some of you that have a pension the bridge benefit will stop at age 65 which means you have to be able to live on the lifetime pension from 65 to 70. so the question becomes do you want to have an advantage of having more money for 17 years early on or having more money for three years later on this is your decision to make but in this case it's not a life decision. If you choose to take CPP or QPP later than 65 and then realize you need the money, you can always apply and take it when you need it. So in conclusion, if you choose to take CPP or QPP at age 60 instead of 65, the break even age would be 74. If you choose to take CPP or QPP at age 70 instead of 65, the break even age would be 82. To make this decision, it would depend on your financial situation and how long you think you will live. According to Statistics Canada, life expectancy is 85 years, but if you need the money, the decision is always easy. Take CPP or QPP when you need the money. It could be as early as age 60. But if you don't need the money and you want to keep things simple, take CPP or QPP at age 65. If you decide to start receiving CPP or QPP, it is recommended that you apply six months in advance and this benefit is taxable. This is it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button. Please check our pre-retirement planning courses. They are fantastic. They will help you with life planning and retirement planning. The links are in the description section below. Joseph here and see you next time.